Hey, happy Friday morning. How's your mom and them? Okay, before I get into this video, I have to say one thing. Warner Brothers, this is not your fucking footage, okay? This is not your footage. This is something someone made to actually make or attempting to make your movie a little better because Warner Brothers hit me with this for 10 seconds. <sighs> okay, now that I got that out the way, let's, let's, let's get into this. Frank Gustin has just been officially added to the end of the Flash movie, and it looks insane. I actually would have much rather Grant Gustin be in the Flash than Ezra Miller. He, them, whatever he calls thyself. I, it, it makes my head hurt. Maybe the Flash movie would have been better if it wasn't surrounded by controversy with Ezra Miller and what they, he, animal toaster whatever what he did you know ugh. to be fair i was not a fan of ezra miller's flash within the justice league both versions um he just wasn't a barry allen to me grant was more of a barry allen he's been playing barry allen on the show i don't think all the nostalgia helped the Flash movie whatsoever, and yes, I'm rocking my Keaton Batman shirt because growing up in the late 80s, early 90s, we didn't actually have this Keaton symbol shirt. We had your generic Batman symbol shirt. Now, do not get me wrong. I love Keaton as Batman. That's my Batman. I grew up with that Batman. Adam West is the original. Keaton was a lot darker, and I loved Keaton's take on batman keaton tim burton but affleck is my top second fight me i liked affleck's batman but just to be clear i liked Zack snyder's affleck's batman not whedon no that 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 was that that was something else i don't know what the hell that was but that wasn't batman from my perspective it felt like ben affleck's batman was the embodiment of the animated series, Batman Bruce Wayne. I mean, that's up for debate, but that's just my take. That's just my opinion. Anyway, let's let's get back to this video. Die tonight by my Yo, it's Grant! I don't think that was All of her! This looks insane. Are we watching the same footage? Because that does not look insane. Granted, I would have loved Grant Gustin in that, but that's just, that, ew. This is all that was needed for the movie to be a 10 out of 10. You think that's all that was needed to make the movie a 10 out of 10? Really? Okay, aside from that, you know, when Grant Gustin's flash and, and whatnot, the only two scenes that I really enjoyed because, you know, nostalgia purposes, was this Christopher Reeves and the Nicolas Cage. And before you people get on here, it's like, why was Nicolas Cage finding a tarantula? If, if you ever known anything about the original script with Kevin Smith, the studio wanted Superman to fight a giant tarantula for some odd reason. They didn't go for it, so they put it in Wild Wild West. Here it is. He has an 80 foot tarantula. Whatever they used, whether it was CGI or the AI nonsense, I still like to see, you know, Christopher Reeves back as Superman. That's my Superman. You know, I love Christopher Reeves. And to actually see Nicolas Cage, well, that time wasn't actually Nicolas Cage, but to see Nicolas Cage as Superman finally in the suit, that, you know, that was pretty cool. But that was the video. What is your take on The Flash? What is your take on all the, the stuff that they put in there?